Hello. Hello, hello, hello. My people of YouTube. <laughs> it's been a while again. I keep saying that. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not too focused. Um, I have lots of time because it's winter and there's not much else to do. But I want to talk a little bit about the subject of making space for people. And this has, of course, my dogs are going to decide to argue over something right now. So there's going to be a little dog chatter in the background. This is my life. It's okay. You just have to bear with me, I guess. I'll have some coffee. So I posted on my Instagram um, quite a while ago, uh, right at the beginning, a quote. And I love quotes. I don't know if you guys love quotes, but I'm always finding like little little quotes, little mini paragraphs that kind of like, um, you know, stab me in the heart a little bit or make me smile or make me laugh. So I'm always reading quotes. <laughs> and anyway, I posted this quote on my Instagram a while back. Um, and it really still has just been kind of rolling around in my head. And it is kind of on the topic of making space for people or holding space or, you know, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I'll read the quote and then we'll talk about making space. So it is, when you give importance to people, they think you are always free, but they don't understand that you make yourself available for them every time. Now, the people that I'm speaking of in this are not my immediate family. Of course, my immediate family gets first priority in space, you know, in my, in my time, in my heart, in my love, you know. Um, but recently, since I have rejoined community and accepted friendship and am opening myself up to being part of something, I'm realizing that I have decided for myself that I have very little space in my heart, life, and brain for other people. <laughs> and there are a few people that attend the, um, I'm just going to call it house church because I don't really know what else to call it. We, um, yeah, I joined a house church uh, and it is lovely and it is less than 20 people and it is really, really, really good. And um, as much as I felt very comfortable in my relationship with God on my own, being with other believers and being in corporate community worship is something that I definitely was missing. But then <laughs> there's people that, um, I don't even know how to put this. There's people that are attracted to me. You know, they want to be friends with me. They want to have a relationship with me, um, spend time with me, you know, that kind of thing. And I had a little bit of a, you know, kind of like internal. Now my dog is snorting her own snot. Oh my goodness. Okay. We can never do anything here without some kind of racket going on. Why do I have so many animals? I don't know. Um, anyway, and I kind of had like a little bit of an internal emotional exhaustion meltdown at the end of last week and early this week, which is probably why I didn't make a video this Monday. But yeah, any no excuses. Simply because I was feeling just really emotionally exhausted. Um over all of the space <laughs> that I was giving people. And was I leaving any space for myself? No, I was not. And as an introvert, um, and this is not a thing that is single to INFJs only, but as an introvert, you need to leave space for yourself, Joy. <laughs> And all of you other beautiful introverts out there, you need to leave space for yourself. And I am not always very good at that. You know, I'm either making so much space for myself that I'm not communicating with anyone besides um, Jesus and myself. Or I am leaving no space for myself and giving, 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 giving to other people. So there has to be a balance in there. There does. Because 
like that quote said, when you give importance to people, when you shower your love, affection, and attention on another person, which comes very naturally. I have a very uh, maternal instinct and a very, um, it's easy for me to love people. Let me just say that. If they are, especially if they're hurting a little bit, it's easy for me to love people. And I've gotten a lot better with my discernment of whether or not um, I should give that love to people. So don't think that, like, you know, I'm going to get sucked up by some kind of narcissist or something because I can see right through them for the most part. Um, it's easy for me to love people. And then, then I, you know, shower all of this on them. And that comes very naturally to me. But then in my own like self-defense mechanism, for whatever reason, even if they never did anything wrong, probably because of past crap that I need to get over, I tend to want to pull back a little bit because then I think, oh my goodness, they're going to think that any time I'm available for as much time as they need. And the issue with making space that I have kind of figured out is there's two sides of it. You know, if you, if I, if I want to give that person more space than they want, <laughs> it's hurtful to me. It almost feels a bit like rejection when they don't want as much time, love, affection, and space as I want to give them. But on the other side of it, if I don't have the space available in my heart for this other person and they want that it feels like rejection to them so 20 year old joy in my brain is screaming don't have any friends <laughs> because that's easier just take care of your family and keep your floors clean of course clean your house Make yourself so busy that you're not available for human beings so that you can be safe, so you're not hurt and they're not hurt. But that's old patterns, and that's not the right way to go about it. So there has to be a balance between myself and other people, of course. And that has always been like the battle in my whole life, I think, in relating to other people that is the space that I have decided enough for this other person and will they accept that that's all I have or will they accept that that's all I want to give them you know or all I'm able to give them not want because of course I want to give I want to give people as much attention as possible. I want to give them as much space and love as possible that I can in my human feelings, you know, especially if they deserve it. And sometimes even when they don't. But humans are humans, you know. I'm human as well. Not perfection. Can't demand perfection of myself or anybody else. And I think I'm just rambling now. But I'm really trying to bring this point across that if you give someone else room in your heart and it's either not enough for them or it's too much for them, you have to remember once again that you cannot control someone else's behavior and someone else's reaction to your behavior. And I have kind of like a push and pull with people. Um, I'm sure that my husband experienced this over the years. I'm sure that he would uh, let you know that sometimes I was very uh, available to him and other times I would push him away. I am hoping that I'm done doing that after 20-something years, but patterns are patterns, you know. Um, but now what I'm talking about here is friendships and it kind of came to my attention because I have a few new people that want to be my friend. And they're good people. They really are. 
Uh, I had one over for a little visit, and she is a lovely, lovely younger woman than me. Um, she's me 10 years ago, and I love her very, very much. She is a, you know, sister in Christ, and I love her, I love her, I love her. But I had a little bit of panic because she wanted to come over to my house, and I have a lot of anxiety when people come to my house, and I wanted... Um, yeah, I definitely wanted to connect with her, but then I have this fear of will the space that I have available for her in my heart and mind be enough? You know, and do I have any space? So that's kind of what I went through. And I don't want yet another person to feel rejected by me when I don't have the amount that they need, you know. And always with friendships, I am always grieving the loss of the friendship even before it's lost. Like I've already decided they're going to go away. <laughs> even the ones that have promised to, you know, be forever um, and stay with me forever. It's still, you know, you can't promise such things. You really can't because you never know what life's going to bring you, you know. But yes, I am just... Um, I haven't made enough videos, so I am just rambling and rambling and rambling. And, yeah. Making space. Making space. Giving a person undivided attention in the time that you have with them is very, very important to me. Very important. And it's hurtful when I don't always get that back. But I also have to understand that the reverse of this is true because someone has made me important to them does not mean that they are always available. They make themselves available for the amount of time that they have for me. So I have to remember that as well. Hopefully you got something out of that, guys. It was good to get it out of my brain and out of my mouth. Whether it made any sense or not, I don't know. But, um, yeah, we're at 12 minutes here. So I appreciate you guys. Live and love out of the way you were created.